So we finally summoned a Nat 5 from the Witcher collaboration. However, and this is a big asterisk, uh, yeah, of course this is going to be the account that we actually summoned it on. We're going to build it regardless. I know this is the LD only account, so we don't quite have the same units we can possibly pair it up with, but it's much nicer to be able to build it and showcase it on one of my own accounts versus watching RTA replays, I think. So we're I keep losing track of... Uh, where she is but we're gonna build this now and we're gonna see if she's actually any good so we have she's a unit that does damage based on speed she's got these uh two attacks that do damage based well three attacks do damage based on speed uh first skill attack the enemy two times inflict damage pro proportion to your attack speed each hit increased chance of landing a glancing hit for two turns 30 percent chance i'm not really too concerned but it goes up to 50 i'm not too concerned about that one charge attack attacks the enemy to inflict damage ignores its defense up to 80 percent we saw that this is not a crazy amount of ignored defense uh i hope that it's eventually going to go up to 100 uh, according to the, def the difference between the targets and your attack speed reusable in three turns goes down to two turns but really needs to be eased the conditions number one and also needs to go up to 100 percent Kali exists. I don't know why this needs to be 80% ignore defense. Kali, it does 100% ignore defense. Elena uh, does 100%. So, Shren, 100%. There's a lot of things to do 100% ignore defense. This needs to be 100%. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, teleportation slash attacks all enemies two times with each hit decreasing their attack speed for two turns. Afterwards, increase your attack bar by 35% in proportion to the number of enemies with slower attack speed than you. Reusable in five turns. I feel like this one's gonna get buffed in the future. Let's see how good I, I I haven't played with it yet. I'm just I'm making assumptions. So let's build it. Let's see how good it actually is. She's fully built, she's level 40, she's awakened, she's max skilled thanks to the event. We're gonna take her in with she doesn't have very high crit rate, so we have to take her in with a crit buffer. Uh we have a strip and defense break, and we have a speed buff. This way she has the uh speed the attack power, and the crit rate. Let's see if this is going to be enough to make her do a whole lot of damage, or if Gianna's going to cut and we're going to be screwed. Entirely possible. Okay, teleportation slash. Let's see how much damage we do. It's going to slow the enemies. It's going to increase our attack age. I feel that this might not even kill Gianna, and then she's going to skill three, and then we're going to lose the match. That's my That's my prediction. My disappointment is immeasurable. Oh no! Come to us never, uh, <laughs> never worked on the AI. That's that's what I should have predicted. Yeah, it's just we we have yeah. That's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. We should have killed things. We had plenty of buffs. We had the speed buff. We had the crit buff. We had the attack buff. We didn't kill the units we needed to kill. At the very least, we could have killed Shung Pung Jiana. Jonna did stupid things, but we're not off to a great start. So the question is, if we can't hit speed teams, because there's not going to be enough speed difference for her to really do a ton of damage, and we can't hit tanky teams because she doesn't do enough damage to actually kill them, what teams are we going to hit with her? Because right now it seems like don't hit any teams with her because she's not going to do well against anything. I mean, we could hit this, but we could we could have hit this with uh, Lucian. We could have hit this with like anything. We could have killed this team with anything. 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 Okay, let's uh, let's see how much damage her skill two does. It's not the worst. Can we? Uh... <laughs> there we go. We wake her up anyway. Doesn't even matter. Yeah, we should have we should have probably saved that. Okay, but you kind of get the idea I, I I feel like that's all the video we need to do um, She desperately needs a buff. I can already tell we have a few units on this defense that are first off You could just lose in this defense, but we all know that um, there's a few units on this defense that are decently fast Let's see how much damage she's gonna do here. I can't imagine very much Let's go here, and I feel like we are going to get this Tiana cutting in at some point, and we will see. Really, for for all the setup, it really did not do the damage she she needed to do. That's that's ridiculous. It's it's really it's really not worth. This unit needs a buff so bad. I'm, I'm not trying to be toxic. This unit actually needs a buff so bad. I suppose we can hit this one. 
couple LD fives here, but this is not a this is not an amazing defense by any stretch of the imagination. So basically, we're learning that you could hit not good defenses with this uh, with this unit. Let's do the uh, attack. Let's do the the slows. Let's see how many units are gonna get the slow. Okay. Yeah, let's go for... I think we're going to have to go for... Not terrible. Let's see if we can sleep some stuff. Not really. That's fine. I don't really care about this. Do a speed buff. Oh, she's got her charge attack again. Yeah, this she like I get where they were going. She needs she needs more. She she needs more with uh, skill two and skill three. Pretty sure that even though this is not a great defense, it's still going to beat us. Let's see if I'm correct. Here's here's my prediction. We're not going to do enough damage to actually kill this Abelio. Well, <laughs> that's an understatement. Uh, let's... I want to do a teleportation. See, we're just dead. We're, we're already dead. So, let's do this. This is kind of an RNG uh, situation that... Uh, that we've got going on right now. Uh, I mean, we're, we're dead either way. He's going to do his wild cure. And then Perna's going to just keep sniping this thing. Let's see if we can uh, do a little bit of sleeps here. Not not terrible. Okay. Oh, Perna didn't. Okay, so they just have bad runes. They just have bad runes, and that's that's why we have a chance. <laughs> Maybe we don't have a chance. This is just a. Uh, <clears throat> it's just a poo poo show. Let's say poo poo show. Yeah. Not, not a, not a great unit. Jeez. I'm just going, I'm, I'm just going to go for the charge attack because it's a better skill, even though it's not as good as three stars that have the same. Am I being too toxic? I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm being too toxic, but it's also, I, I am, it's an honest evaluation. Can we sleep? Nice. I don't want to do anything here. Yeah, just let Perna be asleep. I'm not even going to bother using this skill 2. I uh, skill 3. I, I just don't even want to use it. Like, what, <laughs> what are we going to say? Okay, it's, he's slowed now. But it doesn't do very much. Man, this thing, this thing. Oh, I, I, I greatly dislike this unit. Let's compare apples to apples now. The closest thing to this unit is a Lenny or the Wind Cassandra from the Assassin's Creed collab. However, this unit is already just so much better for a couple reasons. Number one, uh, the Vigor Crush, the skill three attacks, all enemies with attacks that always have an attribute advantage. That's pretty nice. Resets their attack bar. Okay, so that's potentially not even denying them a turn by resetting their attack bar, but then they can't violent proc if they don't have any attack bar to get the first turn to begin with, right? So that's already very nice. Increase their chance of landing a glancing hit for two turns. In addition, increase your attack speed for one turn. Also, she's got this strike of fighter, so skill three I already like more, right? Strike of fighter, attack the enemy to inflict damage that ignores the enemy's defense. What's the percentage? Oh, it's just ignore the enemy defense. Increase the damage by 5% per beneficial effect granted on yourself and decreases skill cooldown time of strike of fighter by one turn if the enemy gets defeated by this skill so we get a 15% with the um with what she had on her she had a speed buff she had a crit buff she had an attack power buff um the unit that we were using uh right now the wind siri so she had three buffs that would be 15% more damage plus 100% ignore defense and then we get the uh, decreased uh skill cooldown time so we can use it sooner rather than later. This is just a better unit, just apples to apples. This is just a better unit than the other one, than the Wind wind Siri. It's a collab unit. It's an add five. It's a wind unit. This is the closest thing, and it's it's 
just straight out better. So we're gonna take a look at the unit that I'm claiming is better, the Wind uh, Wind Cassandra, also Wind Gladiatrix. Uh, Eleni, it's the same same exact unit. We have the speed buff. We have, well, we have two LD5s, don't get me wrong. But, uh, sorry, the speed lead. We have the swift unit. We have a whole lot of uh, defense breaks and other debuffs. We're going to see, I'm sure we're going to see some crazy things from Asima right here. But also we're going to see the... No, we're just going to see crazy things from the Sima. Okay, so they are about to do some uh, cleanses with Juno and with Veramos. They don't get a chance because she does the attack age decrease. If it was the other unit here, they would have done a slow. Then what happens after the AoE slow? Well, Veramos and Juno take turns. They cleanse everything off and they heal the team. And then that's that. And then the other team would win. So the fact that they won, they won with Eleni versus if they were to try to use the uh, Win Siri that would have been a totally different match. The match would have gone completely the opposite direction and the other player would have won. Let's see now some win Siri in RTA. Let's see how they do with this uh, with this unit. So two AOE defense breakers. She's got a chance to do some damage. She's not going to do damage because she didn't ban out the... Why, why do I keep thinking that the, the unit is the one picking the matches? Uh, didn't ban out the Leo, which means they're already going to do basically nothing. So they've, they've failed at the pick ban phase. Didn't even get a chance. Also, the uh, the Dark Hell Lady should have moved first. Also, opponent picked uh, Miles and a Leo together, which is... I guess they thought the Leo was going to get banned, and the Leo didn't get banned. And also, I think maybe that's why the player didn't ban the Leo. They're like, oh, they got the Miles too. But the Leo nerfs things on both sides. <laughs> the, the turn order being wrong, the pick ban being wrong, everything is wrong. And she's not really doing... She's not doing anyone any favors. She's, yeah, this match was over at the pick ban phase. It is very difficult to find any decent gameplay with this unit in RTA because anyone that knows what they're doing in RTA would not be picking such an inefficient unit. I'm trying to not be very toxic, guys, but it's so hard. It's not a good unit. Okay. Let's see. Okay, get some, uh, some resists. There we go. Teleportation slash. She's going to get some slows on the enemy. And then get stunned. Well, that's not really her fault. <laughs> we're going to see a Manon spotlight. Hold on, guys. That's what we're going to see. Actually, we might see Beth do decently. They got some slows, though. She's going to snipe something out. She's going to snipe Manon. Okay. <laughs> she almost didn't snipe. It feels like she almost didn't snipe her out. All right. I I, I don't know that she really had a crazy uh, crazy showing. I I think most people would have preferred to have either Sonya or Eleni or something else that is more effective than this unit, and that's why we're seeing this at C1 and not C3. Punisher Guardian anything like that like this is the majority and this was actually one of the better matches compared to some of the other ones I'm just like I'm looking at them like what was your thought process when you chose this draft in RTA and they're like I, I, I think that there was not any so there's a lot of units from this collab that are actually pretty decent like the uh, the light Geralt Geralt the light Geralt is a pretty solid unit I feel I would love to have that unit but this is not one of them. This is going to be one of those units that is just, it is going to be balanced patch food all the way. We got a decent amount of stuns, actually. But what did she do after that? Like, wow, she did so good. She did so good. I, she's going to be balanced patch food for sure. We're, we're dead. She's dead. Unless he decides to go, well, he's going to go. No, we're dead. We're dead. I, I, I guess, uh, I guess th th that was a thing, but yeah. This is going to be, this is going to be balanced patch fuel. Absolutely. No, not about it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, she just doesn't, she doesn't do enough of anything. With the skill two is not enough. The skill three is not enough.
it's just not enough in any way, shape, or form. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have it and you're bummed out, don't worry. This is probably going to be... It's Oliver was garbage in the beginning anyway, and then he got buffed, and he was it always intended to be a much better unit than he was at release, and then he became a menace to society. So this unit is probably going to be a menace to society at some point. And I feel like the people are going to comment on this video like in a year from now. They're going to be like, oh, this unit's OP. What are you talking about? Like the time that this is released, this unit is one of the bottom units in the uh, the Witcher collab. So anyway, that's it for this one. See you guys always in the next one.